Do you feel like relieved that you don't have to do stand up every night in a weird way? It's, I know it's complicated. It's not like a one word answer, but I have to admit like there is part of me. It's, I would have never stopped if this didn't happen, right? Yeah. But it was like a sickness kind of a little bit. There's there's a lot of healthy things that happened yeah. during the pandemic that I thought was a good thing in terms of like um, missing <laughs> comics. Like I, I never thought I would miss Mark Maron. I miss my f- comic friends. So I miss Tony. So I never thought yeah. I'd be like, I miss Tony. Yeah, you miss certain people that you would never thought you would miss. And... And, be, and I also miss people that I thought were my frenemies, you know, like, uh, you know, like people, I can't say them here because I want to start a war. You know. But you know. I know. You know. <laughs> but like, you know, people that like, um, I had to pretend to, you know, be nice to when deep down inside, I want to destroy their face, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. But then it's like you, you go, what was that all about? And does that matter? And I just miss them as human beings. Yeah, I miss that too. And, um. There's something about, this is what I miss the most, doing a set and then having all my friends go, let's go to Greenblatt's. Mm -hmm. And it's like 1.30 in the morning and you're just sitting there and then all of a sudden like Dom um, Irera, like one time Dom Irera, I was with Eric Griffin, D'Elia and some other guy. Never heard of them. (laughs) And (laughs) Dom Irera and Daniel Tosh stop by yeah so then they pull up chairs and i was with a kid no i was with a kid that emceed for me from a club in houston he was just there he'd never been to la before oh and this is his night and this is his night to hang out with me i said yeah yeah, because i told him so he's just i I remember sneaking him into clubs and stuff and he just couldn't believe it and he's sitting there and then all of a sudden all these people are there at the diner and we're just talking shop and telling stories and i could see this kid like go this is unfucking believable. Yeah. You know what I mean? What a fucking, you know, like a life altering. Cause I've had those when you were a young guy where you're in a oh, situation, yeah. you're like, oh, what the fuck situation am I in here? Mm-hmm. This is amazing. Oh my God. This yeah. is fucking amazing. Yeah. Right. I still and I feel like those things sometimes. Yeah, like, me too. Well, what? You know? So it's like, you know, I miss all that stuff and I will get back to it, but I, I you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm one of those kind of guys and that needs an audience. Yeah, me too. I'm having a hard time. Yeah. You know, because I realized during the pandemic that what gets me off about comedy is being in the moment and being like, I never know what's going to happen. Like, yeah. kind of coming. In. I've never been a disciplined writer. Mm. If that 